hope that you're all well. Today I thought that we'd have a pretty chill day. I'm stepping away from the renovations because I really want to do some autumn decor shopping. I'm desperate to get all cozy and warm, especially here in the living room. And I actually started with some shopping yesterday because I got my hair done. Um, and I just nipped into actually mostly Neptune yesterday. I've ordered some stuff online today I definitely want to head to home sense. I might head to a florist locally to see if I can get some like cute little pumpkins I mean, I said that I wasn't gonna do kind of Halloween. I do have some pumpkins some like decor pumpkins but I'm wanting to do, which I still haven't got around to you guys, the planters in the front of the house. Not today, at some point in the next kind of like month or so, I wanna get those done, painted, and have like little pumpkins in them, hopefully. But let me show you what I picked up. I keep looking at it, cause this is the kind of vibe that I'm going for. So not too orange, just like darker tones. So I actually popped into Neptune. They've got like a gorgeous green theme going on at the moment. And this isn't very awesome decor, but I saw these and I was actually really impressed with the price. They're just napkin holders, but I thought that they could be all year round, kind of at Christmas time. You can put something a little bit more Christmassy, like foliage, maybe some holly on them or something. They were only £9 for the six, which I thought was really sweet. And obviously, you can only have six people in your house right now, so that's pretty perfect. And then, actually, maybe I won't show you this one because I've already unwrapped this one here, but I just got two pillar candles in this darker grey. They always look a little bit mauvey, but I thought that these could go really nicely in my lanterns. They actually had them on display there, and they just look so warm and inviting. I think I might pop them around with a bit of white, but we'll see. And then also, what else did I get from Neptune? I got these berries. I don't want to swap out this arrangement behind me here. It's a little bit too summery at the moment. I have some like creamy yellowy berries from Oka, and I'm wondering if these could mix in with those, though these actually just really look nice in a pot like by themselves. I did pick this one up, though annoyingly, I think I'm gonna have to try and exchange it from Anthropology. I just thought the colors for autumn were so pretty and actually the berries just look nice on their own in like a little vase, just like a little spray of them. But I don't know if you can tell, it's supposed to be round. It's got this like really awkward, almost square shape to it. So I think I might have to return that one. Obviously it's like probably hand blown glass, but but it looks, it looks a bit odd, doesn't it? And then just in a boutique shop in Bath, I picked up this one. Again, I thought, thought some foliage and H&M. I picked up these. You actually might be able to see a few behind me. I picked up three. They just hold a little candle. I mean, you could probably use them for a lot of different things, but I love this color. So this is the kind of color tones that I'm going for to bring a little bit of autumn into the house. Sorry if I sound extremely tired. We have been go, go, go with the renovations with the green room and the top floor. And I don't think I've had a day off like doing the physical work in almost two weeks. I think my body's just like, stop, take a chill pill, go and have some autumn coziness. Um, I've just remembered that I also have some bits up there. So let me show you that. I didn't think that I'd bought a lot, but now looking at it, I'm like, oh, okay. We're going all in in the autumn, but looking at all the items here they're not autumn these will last me all year round so will this the berries maybe not so much but it's the kind of thing that i can move from room to room so this is the kind of thing that i'm hopefully looking for in home sense today and then this little arrangement i got from a company i think it's called yeah bloom and it's just got a load of again nice like berries in it which is my favorite i actually think that this one will look really nice in the dining room they come already made up in this cute little jar so it makes it quite easy for like arranging you don't have to do it yourself and i've just literally popped those up there and these which i think were a bit of a mistake but i ordered them online and they were like when they arrived, I was expecting a huge bunch. And I don't know if you can tell like proportionately, maybe I can spray them out a little bit, but they were $18.99. And I just think that was a bit of a rip off. Um, obviously they're not going in this vase. They still need to arrange all of this. But I thought Tony, they'd look nice with all the other like themey pieces that I'm thinking of. And obviously because they're dried, they will last year to year. I think I need to have a little look out for some other vases which aren't glass because I have a lot of glass vases and obviously with all of this like faux or um, dried stuff, it looks better to have a glass that you can't see through. And then the last thing is probably like cushions and throws. I found some from Neptune that I fell in love with yesterday. But our living room is probably gonna change a lot over the years and I don't know whether the theme that we're going for now, like we're definitely gonna change our sofa 
and I just don't want to like invest in too much stuff that will be changed. But I'll link it below because it was so beautiful. It's like the this like taupey velvet, but the tone of it was just stunning. I don't think I'll get anything like that in home sense, but I might just go for a different theme altogether. I've just arrived and on a really random note, yesterday I also picked up some more masks. If you're just looking for some spares, M&S do these for, I think they were nine, nine pounds something for a pack of six. And then they have the toggles on the end to adjust them. So pretty good if you just want some spares. I'm finding that I'm washing mine all of the time at the moment, like after every use and I need quite a few. Not that I'm going out that much, but. I like them clean. Anyway, let's pop in and see what they have. All of the trees are starting to turn and it is so pretty. I'm gonna show you the leaves um, in the park just outside the front of our house because there's a tree. I don't know why, I just love it. It just turns the most beautiful colors. Am I crazy? Probably, let's go shopping. <laughs> wasn't very successful actually the shelves at home sense were pretty much bare there wasn't a lot in there at all um i did pick up a candle like an autumn scent one which looks really nice it's my kind of style and a pyrex dish really random but i'll use our last one to measure paint so i got a new one for the kitchen and i popped into dublin elm and i saw some like faux uh, like frosted leaves in there quite similar to ones that I'd seen in Neptune, but I thought that they were a bit too pink toned for me. And now I'm wondering if I might pop to the range before heading into town. Um, yeah, we'll see, it's raining, but I definitely thought that Home Sense would have more. I don't know if I've just caught them on a day where stock's quite empty. It actually, it was really busy in there, or like busy for the Home Sense that I'm at. So I guess their stock might be going quite quickly. You may be able to tell it is raining outside now, but it's making me feel super cozy. I've got my like, big duvet coat on which just oh, it's a dream i got it from h&m last year like absolutely like i have missed it because it's just so comfy this is literally i love for anybody wondering <laughs> Just got in the door and I'm actually leaving again, but I wanted to unpackage a few bits that came through the door, thankfully whilst I was away. Most random thing, what do you think that is for? For the green room, if that helps. And also this one for the green room. Hopefully we can put that up tonight. It's actually starting to come together now. So I'm excited to get that video out. A few people have asked, because I, I think I said in the video, it'll be up in the next video, but I meant the next one in that series, as in like not the next video. Still got a little bit of way to go with that one, but I'm gonna head out now. I need to get some bags. I was thinking I might pick up a few bits to do a slow cooker spaghetti bolognese this afternoon um, so that we can put that in the freezer. Look who I found. Have a nice, cozy lunch. left there which I understand how because when we were having lunch actually you might be able to see in the clip Ollie was on his phone a lot and he is never on his phone like neither of us are people that are attached to our phones um and he was obviously tracking this which I think I know what it is yes because I actually ordered my well my parents but my mum these for their anniversary and um, I sent it to Ollie being like, oh, are they nice? Do you think my mum will like them? 
Um, and he was like, I really like them. And um, I was like, yeah, I think they look nice. And he's obviously ordered them for me too, bless him. They are like really pretty faux autumnal faux. No, they're not, they're dried autumnal flowers, which is even more funny because they actually picked some up in town with him and he obviously knew that these were being delivered but these have like their really nice burgundy i'm not sure you can see with the black paper there we go that's a bit better all of those really pretty tones which is exactly the look i'm going for and i didn't find any vases oh i feel so bummed about it because i actually ordered one online i'll try and put a picture up here two weeks ago and heard nothing from it it didn't get delivered and then i messaged him kind of being like i never got that vase um and they're apparently they're having trouble getting a hold of it and it's exactly what i need like i just need a few where you can't see the kind of like bottom of the flowers but i might try a few vases over there then i just got oh a real essential for this time of the year if you haven't tried these m s these like little chocolate eyeballs got three packets of those they're our favorite some ingredients for a stag bowl because i'm gonna do that and then these are the ones that i got in town which to be honest will look nice with them but nowhere near as nice as this bunch but i think they'll go together maybe i'll have to see <laughs> i've now got a lot of dried flowers but you can keep them over here can't you <laughs> i was looking for a few more white ones but i just had to pick up a few i always think that these are so cute i've got a green one and then also a bit of a light green. How sweet are they? I might pop these in the kitchen, I think. Maybe in some kind of bowl. I'm gonna put them to the side for a second. I'll decide where to put them around the house. Can't put them all in the living room because we will eat them all. And now I'm gonna chuck everything in the slow cooker for a spag bowl. I went to the butcher's and got quite a bit. I think I got one kilo of uh, minced beef, so definitely enough for like a lot of portions. Um, in fact, I'm not even sure I've got um, enough ingredients for all of that, but hopefully I will because the only way that we can get by in life, I feel, and eat normal home cooked meals is to do it in a slow cooker. If you don't have a slow cooker, you absolutely need one. And they're so inexpensive, like for what they are. Actually, Ollie had this one, it's a crock pot one. Um, at uni, so we've had it for ages, like years and years, and I'm pretty sure it's on the cheaper side of slow cookers, but it's so easy to chuck things in, always like double or triple your portions, and then put it in a freezer bag, in the freezer, and you can just get it out during the week whenever you want. Um, the, we build them up over time, so I usually do, like this time of year, I'll do a stew, I do a chicken chorizo, um, I do a lemon chicken meal, what else do I do? lamb tangine, yeah, basically so many that I put into the freezer and then we basically have like every week for months meals to just take out when we're super busy or doing DIY or working or stuff like that. Oh, and also, if you're not great at cooking, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm bad at cooking, but I don't put the time into it, anything that you put in a slow cooker tastes good and it tastes like even better the second and third time around, so. On a much more random note, while I chop these onions, I may start crying, sorry if I do. I really need a, a kitchen like compostable bin, you know, like kitchen waste food. I'm sure, I bet Joseph and Joseph do a really good one, but I want a nice one that I might be able to like even put on the kitchen side, because currently we have it on the floor down by the bin. And it's just a bit of a pain to have to like lean down that far all the time. So if you guys have any suggestions of good ones that don't smell, because right now we have the like the one that the council supply, which is fine actually, and we get um, the liners which are 100% biodegradable. But, um, and I don't find that it smells, but we regu like we quite regularly um, empty it. But it'll be nice to have a much better one because I think our recycling is getting even more strict. Like we we currently have to separate out all of our recycling. I don't know if you guys have to do that from like glass and metal, plastic, which is actually really good, but I think they're, they're doing like another grade to it or something i'm not quite sure already starting to cry where we have to separate it out even more than that so i want to get bins that make it really easy oh i'm gonna go now because i'm gonna start streaming Z. 
there anything better than the smell and the sound of cooking onion? I love it, this makes me feel like I'm home. And it's very poorly chopped by the way, because I cried my eyes out. Doesn't look like much right now, but let that develop <laughs> for a few hours and it'll be like thick and gorgeous by dinner. I'm just gonna have it on the cold, coolest one there. And now I need to <laughs> tidy up all of this. I put a bit of um, smoked paprika in mine, um, smoked bacon, Worcestershire, and then just like all of the kind of normal pieces, garlic, onion that you put into a spaghetti bolognese. So. I was going to save this for an autumn decorate with me video, but I'm too excited about these. I really want to get them in this vase, so I think I might just do that and then do the rest of the decorating in a video. I'm really looking forward to getting rid of these. Well, obviously not rid, I need to box these away. Actually, the eucalyptus I'll probably keep out with the hydrangeas and peonies. To summary, let me just put them in the living room. Now I've never had dried flowers. I presume that you can just cut them. Yeah, we can just cut them, I'm sure. I might just give this one a bit of a clean out. Is it dusty? It's not too bad actually, it's been covered. I love this one, I got this one at Dalesford. Hmm, did that really evenly, didn't I? This room and this room is actually one of the reasons why I'm not decorating like decorating for autumn yet I have felt so all over the place the last few weeks I'm sorry if it's come across in the videos still like chipper and happy but just very overwhelmed by what's going on obviously we're really trying to push forward with the top floor we're also doing the green room and there's just like generally a lot happening and when you're physically doing the work yourself it's so difficult because it's like it's tiring and it's also it takes much longer so anyway this is this is our current dining room state we've got boxes all over the dining table we've still got our radiators there with more boxes paint and other bits um and then we've got the wardrobe which i've painted the base for and we have started putting down the carpet in the green room maybe i'll give you a sneak peek but obviously i didn't want to move the wardrobe up there until the carpet was down, the base needed to be done, and then I can paint the wardrobe in the room. And then we've got our floorboards down here, which need to go to the top floor. And the only way to get them to the top floor is, and this one's a terrible mess, I'm sorry, but is to get it like from, from our alleyway to our bedroom window. And then I hold it at the bedroom window, and then Ollie goes to the top floor and like grabs it. It's a bit of a mission, to say the least, and we've got to get all of those up tonight. I think there's, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is eight, so that's going to take us a little bit of time. Yeah, I just feel like I've spent my last few weeks feeling like a real rag bag with no makeup on, so I wanted to put some makeup on today. Uh, the house, an absolute bomb site, and just feeling like I didn't know whether I'm coming or going. Oops, sorry, I'm super dark. Let me show you a little sneak peek of the carpet because. That is what we're gonna be doing this evening and I wanted to vlog today, but obviously I'm not gonna show the whole of the green room yet because I want to leave that for the reveal. Oh, you went and picked up. Oh dear. It's our life at the moment. Should we go over a paint pot? <laughs> Empty paint pot, by the way. All of the skirting board for the green room because we're putting the carpet down and then putting the skirting board over it, hopefully to secure it in. Obviously it needs a good hoover because we've literally just laid it down last night and then we need to like, Tonight we basically need to do a dance and make sure it's all pushed to the edge and then like onto the grippers and on the skirting board. But it feels so homely in here. Another little sneak peek there behind me. But yeah, I might pick you up again a little bit later once I've, well, let's go down and tidy the dining room first and then we'll see when Ollie gets back to do the skirting board how much we'll actually achieve tonight because we've got like certain things that we need to do each night to achieve what we want to achieve. and. 
So far we've not been hitting them because, well, partly it's getting dark super early now and it makes it seem a lot. I don't want to move too much. <laughs> not that I'm giving much away right now. Um, but yeah, it's getting dark and cold and you just kind of want to eat and get cozy instead of do all like the DIY and painting that we're doing. Oh, and the marble arrived the other day. Yeah, I definitely just showed you again. <laughs> I'll show you the marble slab. It's literally on our stairs, which haven't been renovated, so excuse them, but I think it's so nice. It actually goes with our tiles really well. So this will go along our whole shower area. And we just got a little off cut, um, and they put like the, I don't know what you would call this, like trim around the whole of it, like all of the edges, so that it wouldn't be sharp in the shower at all. Of all of those boxes, these are the only things that haven't been opened and they're possibly the most boring things ever. This is like clips for cabinet doors so that they stay in place. And I suppose this is a little bit more interesting. These are the brackets that we're using for the green room to put some shelves above the desk. So I thought the black would go really well with all of the other accents and Ollie, bless him, actually when he went to B&Q to pick up the skirting board, picked up some shelves from their like bargain bin. I'll show you them. I never sit here, it's very odd. You may be able to hear the washing machine downstairs, but Ollie came home and he was like, guess what I got? And I knew straight away, because this is exactly, this is his gramps in him. He was like, an absolute bargain. <laughs> and you can see that they've, they've quite clearly been used, but actually they're really nice quality and they've got Kind of like beveled edges. I think they're going to be too wide. We'll probably ask you guys that on Instagram. We obviously need to fill these bits in. But there's a load of them and I think he only paid two pounds. Oh, also, yes, we have a hole in the wall. That's from when the boiler went in. The boiler guys did that because the boiler's on this wall here. <laughs> it's a bit later. I'm in our everything room. Uh, just putting out some washing. I've done a few loads of washing and put out the bins, you know, all of the fun stuff. I cleared the dining room as much as I could but I'm gonna have to wait until Ollie gets back to um, move some of the heavier stuff with me. And I think the wardrobe actually may have to come in here for the time being whilst the green room carpet goes down. But that's fine. This is basically a dumping room, as you can tell anyway. It's got a load of random, very random stuff in here and basically all of our life belongings. And I think we might have to put the heating on tonight. We've been putting it off and we've actually been discussing about putting more radiators in the downstairs. So we didn't do anything with the heating downstairs because it's temporary. We're hoping to, as you guys know, do the extension and stuff. And I will link the video where we go through all of that, all of our plans. It is seriously cold down there in the winter, especially in the living room where we spend most of our time. And obviously the kitchen was heated by the Rayburn and we took the Rayburn out last December when we put our boiler in. Now the kitchen's pretty cold because it's got no radiator in there. So we're thinking that we might have to put a little radiator into the kitchen. It doesn't actually get too cold in there because it's like in the middle of the house, but um, it would be good to have some kind of heating. And then the living room, currently only one radiator works, but they're just, they're very, very old, obviously, radiators and they're just not good they don't put out a lot of heat definitely not enough for the room so we're thinking of putting a huge one huge as big as we can get just like a basic i don't know what you call them the double walled white modern ones to get us through because we'll probably have this winter and another winter here i did try and look and see if i could find any second hand but could find small ones but not one like i want like a two meter long radiator to be behind there so yeah that's the plan that's the plan but this evening we should officially put the heating on which really does mean the autumn is here same clothes that i was wearing yesterday well you always wear the same clothes yeah yes i do um ollie's home <laughs> and now we're gonna move the wardrobe we move the radiators so that they looked like temporarily they're kind of meant to be here <laughs> the room is looking a lot more normal now just this one and the planks which we'll do in a second see you on camera
I'm looking a little bit crazy right now. You may have just seen us um, pull, pulling up the boards. So Ollie pushed them up to me on the middle floor and I was like half hanging out the window. You can, uh, you can show them. Oh yeah, I could, sh I could show you the window, Ollie's saying. Sorry, they're dirty, but. So this is the window. Here's our dining room. And we have like this metal grate. So Ollie was leaning it on the metal grate. And then I was pushing it up from this window and holding it onto the metal grate here. And then you can't actually see our window, but it's about at that level. And I was then pushing it up to him on the top floor. And don't worry, I was safe because I was like basically still in, in, inside. <laughs> I was inside, I was safe. Um, and I'm probably gonna have to leave you now, it's about half six. We're gonna try and get this carpet secured tonight, but you'll see that in the, the video where we make this one over. Uh, and maybe I'll catch up with you later, if not tomorrow. <laughs>